We are in Tapanuli Salatan, in the northern part of Sumatra. Since early 20th century, if not before, Tapanuli Sulata, or Topsel for short, has been modernized with plantations replacing yards and forests. Roads were built. Early technologies of telecommunication were introduced. Electricity also became part of society's way of life. Yet modernity did not play out in favor of the local communities. Plantations and mining under colonial rule disrupted ways of life, altered whole ecosystems along the way. Not all is lost. Small plantations of fruit trees can still be found. People are eager to progress, not to catch up, but actually not to be left behind. Today is special. A conservation initiative linked to the development of a hydro power plant is going to happen. The power plant uses the stream of the Batanturu River, a strong current of water at several locations more than 40 meters wide. Like any other hydro power plant, it depends on the services of the ecosystem, forested land within the Batang Toru watershed. Local communities use the land for plantations, paddy fields, and other uses. Cooperation is needed to generate electricity and to conserve the ecosystem. Cooperation requires trust, and to create and maintain trust, the owner of the hydro power plant has been conducting several community development activities. The variety of activities follows findings of an international environment management consultant, extending a helping hand where it is most needed. And today, with all the trust that has been gathered, the people in the government of Tapanuli Sulatan join hands with the owner of the hydro power plant to reforest the environment. Special studies have identified which trees to plant and where to plant them. Special care was given to nurture seedlings of endemic species, some already rare, others particularly useful. The local government, led by a visionary regent, fully endorses the conservation initiative. And the owner of the hydro power plant is welcomed into the community of Tapanuli Solatan. People have been living here for thousands of years. They have learned to live together with the environment, including the recently identified Tapanuli orangutan. Yet they have also learned to carve a niche in the modern world, accessing technologies. Now, as part of the community, the owner of the hydro power plant helps to combine progress and conservation further. The balance may not be perfect, but here in Tapanuli Salata, it works.